hello good day welcome to our channel once again thank you so much for joining us um please do well to like share and subscribe to um, our channel and to all of our existing viewers we want to appreciate you for all of your cooperation and support so far please do also keep liking our posts as they come your way now when the report we're bringing you this morning says buhari should obey court order on inamde kano is attorney general malami known for executive rascality ninja delta leader clark well we know that um inamde kano who is uh, the president of the independent people of Biafra on Thursday um, was discharged and acquitted by a court of appeal in Abuja. And, and we know that um, on the news um, that came out of his discharge and acquittal, there were a lot of celebrations and uh, um, happiness and rejoicing um, by the independent people of um, Biafra. Now we know that um, the Attorney General of the Federation, um, Abu Bakr Malami, has actually said that um, they would not release Inam De Kano, even though the court has discharged him. And according to Abu Bakr Malami, he said that um, though the court uh, discharged Inam De Kano, but he was not acquitted, and that even though the court has um, given the ruling, that there are still other issues that. Um, Inam the Kanu is actually going to be um, arraigned for. So, and also we know that even the National Security Council is also towing the line of um, the AGF. And they've also said to that, yes, that um, Inam the Kanu would not be released. Well, now this one is coming from the Niger Delta leader, um, Edwin Clark. And um, he's saying that um, the president should actually obey the court's order and let Inam De Kano go. Let's go into the details of this report. It says, Shahara reporters on Monday reported that Ifa in Ejiofor, the lead counsel to Kano, said that the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Aboba Kamalami, and the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS Headquarters, Abuja, had been served with the judgment of the appeal court which discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader. Elder statesman and leader of the pan Niger Delta Forum, Edwin Clark, has urged President Muhammadu Buhari to order the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in Amdekanu, in line with the appeal court's judgment. Sahara reporters on Monday reported that Ifanye Jofo, the late counsel to Kanu, said that the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, and the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS, headquarters in Abuja, had been served with the judgment of the RP court, which discharged and they acquitted the IPOB leader. AGL4 has said that Kanu could not hold back his extreme joy over the judgment, adding that the DSS was expected to release Kanu from the detention without further delay in compliance with the court order. The lawyer made this disclosure in a statement on Monday evening after Kanu's legal team visited the IPOB leader in detention in Abuja. Recall that the Nigerian government in June 2021 abducted Kanu in Kenya and returned him to the country for continuation of his trial on treasonable charges. However, Kanu had filed an appeal against the government that his extraordinary rendition from Kenya was illegal. Following Kanu's appeal, a three-man court of appeal on Thursday in their ruling discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader and ordered the Nigerian government and its security agents to release Kanu from detention. But the AGF Malami insisted that Kanu was only discharged but not acquitted and therefore his case against the government is not over. In a statement on Monday, Clark also faulted Malami whom he said has abandoned part of his job and involved in what he described as executive rascality to the dismay of patriotic citizens. He said, I consider this stance of the federal government as rather imperious and needless. I therefore earnestly call on President Muhammad Buhari to obey the judgment of the Court of Appeal and order the immediate release of Inamdi Kanu in the interest of peace in the country the southeast zone in particular 
I remember, and it is well known, that when the leaders, the elders, and traditional rulers of the Southeast pleaded with President Muhammad Buhari during a meeting in Abakiliki, Ebonyi State, to release Kano and other pro Biafra agitators in detention, the President responded that Inamdi Kano's faith will be decided by the court. And even when they, the Igbo leaders, visited him at Aso Rock, the president again said the matter was no longer in his hand and the security agencies, but in the hand of the judiciary and that whatever the court decides will be final. Now, the court of appeal has given his judgment on the matter. I am imploring the president to obey the judgment of the courts and release the young man and allow peace to reign. At this time, when insecurity is the order of the day, anything that will enhance the peace and stability of the country must be embraced. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, SAN, needs to appreciate the fact that he is the Chief Law Officer of the Federation as provided in Section 1501 of the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended. He is expected to play a neutral role at all times and in all matters. He is not the chief law officer of a section of the country, a group, or even the president. But I have sadly observed that the attorney general has no doubt abandoned part of his job and now involved in the executive rascality to the chagrin and dismay of patriotic Nigerians at home and abroad. The leader of Pandev also called on Buhari to reassure the citizens of their oneness and treat every part of the country equally. The unity of Nigeria can only be achieved and sustained if every part of the country is treated equally with other parts in all ramifications. No one can play God over Nigeria, and no section owns this country more than any other section. We want Mr. President to reassure Nigerians of our oneness, he added. Now that is it um, on the report of um, Edwin Clark calling on the president to actually obey the order of uh, the Supreme Court and um, release in um, the canoe since the court has actually given him a release. Um, but we know that the um, Attorney General of the Federation is still saying that um, he was only discharged and was not acquitted, and there are still other issues against the government that um, in um, the canoe has to be tried for. Well, that is it on this report for today. We'll bring you more details and more news happenings as they come across our way. Please do well to also like and share our post. If you're joining us for the first time and if you're an existing viewer, please do well to give us a thumbs up on all our posts until we'll come your way next time. Bye-bye.